Nobody understood why that dog wouldn't leave an unknown grave. But when they opened the grave, something unbelievable happened. Welcome to Amazing Truth Channel. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive all new. Now go to the story. It was a Sunday morning, and the sun had already cleared the clouds in the sky and was illuminating the cemetery of Hope Village with its golden rays. The birds were singing, announcing the start of a new day, and the village was beginning to wake up. A young girl called Louisa decided to visit her mother's grave to pay her respects and talk to her as she used to do at weekends. With a bouquet of fresh flowers in hand, the girl walked through the narrow cemetery paths surrounded by tombstones and trees until she reached her mother's resting place. Louisa was a 17-year-old girl with long brown hair and expressive eyes that reflected her gentle and caring soul. She had lived in the village since birth and was known for her kindness and love of animals. Her mother, Helena, had died five years previously from a rare disease, leaving a huge hole in her daughter's heart. She was a strong, wise, and loving woman who was always there for her daughter, supporting and guiding her. It was because of her that the girl learned the importance of love and respect for animals and nature, as she was the only veterinarian in town and an aspiring environmentalist. Since Helena's death, Louisa had made a point of visiting her grave every weekend, bringing with her roses and her heart full of longing. She believed that by doing this, she would be keeping her mother's memory alive and honoring her legacy. Then, she approached her mother's grave, and everything seemed as normal and peaceful as ever, except for one thing Lisa noticed, the presence of Loyal, who was only a few meters away. Hey buddy, what are you doing here? She talked gently to the dog. Loyal was a dog who wandered around the village. He had a lot of respect for the girl, as Helena had looked after him when he was just a puppy, and Louisa had practically grown up with him. Although they were friends, the dog lived on the streets as he liked to be free and was known and loved by all the locals who often offered him food and affection. The dog was a friendly and playful animal who won people over with his loyalty and contagious energy. Despite not having a permanent home, the dog loved the community that looked after him and gave him the security and affection he deserved. Loyal was a symbol of hope and love for the residents, who saw him as a friend and companion to all. But that day, he was different. Lying next to a freshly dug grave, his eyes alert and vigilant, as if he were on a mission. Intrigued by the dog's attitude, Louisa observed its movements and its tense body as if it were on guard. It let out soft growls, enough to express its discomfort at any approach from her. As she was an animal lover and felt a strong connection with the dog, she knew something was wrong with Loyal. She tried to approach him slowly so as not to frighten him or threaten the grave he was protecting. As she approached, the girl bent down and held out her hand, offering her friend the chance to smell it and get acquainted. Here, Loyal. It's me, Louisa. I won't hurt you, said the young woman in a sweet voice. The dog, despite his protective attitude, recognized the girl and allowed her to stay there, but not too close. He looked at her with confused and pleading eyes, as if he were trying to communicate something important. The girl, sensing the dog's discomfort, felt a squeeze in her heart and knew she had to investigate the grave. Then she approached slowly, but when Loyal growled, she stopped. Even so, from there, it was possible to read the name engraved on a makeshift tombstone. Ruin, an unknown name that didn't belong to any resident of the village. It was then that the young girl noticed that the grass around the grave had been turned over, and Louisa could see the animal's footprints as if it had dug there, trying to reach something. Concerned, the girl turned her attention to Loyal, who still kept his gaze, alternating between her and the grave. Only after a few minutes did she manage to pet the dog, trying to calm him down, and promise that she would find out what was going on. At that moment, she took out her cell phone and called the person in charge of the cemetery, reporting the dog's strange behavior. Yes, come quickly. There's something wrong here, she said to the man in charge. As soon as the employee, Joseph, arrived on the scene, he noticed Louise's agitation and Loy's unusual behavior. Joseph was a tall, middle-aged man with long experience working in the cemetery. He knew that the dog had never shown aggression before, so the situation was really intriguing. So he asked Louisa, 
What's going on here? Why is he so agitated? I don't know, sir. He doesn't want to let anyone near that grave. It looks like he's trying to protect it from something or from us, said the young woman. The man looked at the grave and then at the dog, trying to understand the situation. He then decided to approach the headstone to see who it belonged to, but the dog barked non-stop. Hey, 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 calm down, Loyal. It's me, Joseph. I'm here to help, buddy. However, as the man approached the grave, the animal became more and more aggressive. It bared its teeth and growled loudly, making it clear that it would not allow anyone to come near it. Joseph stopped immediately, surprised and worried by his reaction. Then he said, Louisa, I've never seen him act like this. There's something very strange going on here. I think so too. I think we're going to have to call the police and ask for help. Maybe there's something important inside that grave that Loyal is trying to show us, said the girl. The man agreed to the suggestion, and the two decided to contact the police. As they waited, the suspense grew, and the tension in the air was palpable. Loyal's eyes were fixed on the grave, and he stood guard as if he knew something was very wrong. With the arrival of the police, the villagers began to gather in the cemetery, because in a small town like that, the news was all over the place. Everyone was very curious to know what was going on. The dog, determined to protect the grave, stood firm in his position, seemingly waiting for events to unfold. But no one could have imagined what was to come. The officers, with serious looks on their faces, approached Louisa, Joseph, and Loyal, ready to hear what had led them to call them. Good morning, friends, one of the officers said. You said on the call that there's something strange going on here. Can you tell us what happened? So, gentlemen, the dog here is extremely aggressive towards this grave. He won't let anyone near it and seems to be trying to protect something, as there are marks that he dug there. We thought it best to call you in to investigate the situation, said the cemetery worker. While the policemen talked to the girl and Joseph, the villagers speculated about what might be going on. They whispered among themselves, exchanging theories and suppositions. Could there be something valuable buried there? Maybe some hidden treasure? I don't know. Loyal was never an aggressive dog like that. He must have sensed something wrong in that grave. Maybe it was something more serious, like drugs. So the officers decided to approach the headstone, being careful of the dog's reaction. They tried to talk to the animal, trying to calm him down and gain his trust. Easy, buddy. We're here to help. Let's see what's going on, okay, Loyal? Still a little uncomfortable and realizing the presence of all those people, Loyal continued to growl as if he wanted to send them all away. At the same time, the police were talking to each other. We'll need a court order to exhume the body and investigate the grave. In the meantime, we need to isolate the area, said one of them. So they asked the residents to move away to ensure everyone's safety, mainly for fear of the dog attacking them. Louisa and Joseph watched the scene with concern while Loyal remained vigilant beside the grave. Anticipation was growing among the villagers who were eagerly awaiting answers. The story of the dog and his determination to protect Ruin's grave, a person no one knew, was spreading through the village, arousing everyone's curiosity. After a few hours of waiting, the police finally received the necessary judicial authorization to dig up the grave and investigate what the hell was inside it. With the area isolated and the community watching from a distance, they prepared to start digging. It was the greatest tension as the officers picked up their tools and started digging. Loyal barked non-stop. The dog seemed increasingly agitated and worried about what was about to happen. Louisa was holding the dog, as she was the only person he would let near him. Come here, come here, Loyal, she said, hugging the dog so that it wouldn't run away or jump on the men as they dug the grave. The girl and Joseph exchanged nervous glances, wondering what could be hiding there that had triggered such a reaction from the animal. The tension grew with every shovel movement, and the residents gathered in groups exchanging ideas and theories about what was going on. The suspense was apparent, and all eyes were fixed on the grave, waiting for the moment of discovery. The village's loyal companion continued to bark, as if begging the police to act with caution and care. Anyone who looked into its little eyes could see the dog's fear and concern. Be careful, shouted the people. 
The police, realizing the seriousness of the situation and the anxiety of the people, worked hard but carefully so as not to damage any possible evidence. With each layer of earth removed, the mystery deepened further, piquing the curiosity of everyone who watched the unusual scene. Then, after hours of hard and careful work, the men finally reached the coffin, sweaty and panting. The sun was high in the sky, and the residents of the village huddled around the grave, watching the officers every move with apprehension. The murmurs and speculation only added to the stress in the air. The clouds moved slowly, and the wind swayed the leaves of the trees around the cemetery, as if nature was also anxious for the mystery to be solved. The policemen, aware of the importance of their work and the watchful eyes of the locals, took a deep breath before opening the lid of the coffin. Let's be careful. We don't know what we're going to find here, said one of the officers. Okay, we're ready. They exchanged tense glances and finally, slowly lifted the coffin lid, making the air even heavier with anticipation. At that moment, Loyal barked loudly, as if to alert everyone to what was about to be revealed. The citizens held their breath, and some made the sign of the cross, fearing the worst. Louisa and Joseph exchanged worried glances, wondering what was found in the grave. Somebody, for God's sake, tell us what's going on, they shouted. As they lifted the lid of the coffin, the policemen were confronted with a scene they would never forget. Their eyes went wide, and their expressions went from shock to disbelief in a matter of seconds. Dear God, that can't be true, exclaimed one of the officers while the other shouted to the crowd, Someone call an ambulance! Urgent! The look of horror on the men's faces made the villagers look at each other, fearful of what was to come. Everyone was impatient to know what had been discovered in the grave. I wonder what's in there. I've never seen such a frightened expression on a policeman's face. I don't know. Whatever it is, it must be something very serious. The dog is terrified. The words exchanged by the people fueled the suspense as the ambulance approached, with its sirens echoing throughout the village. Loyal continued to bark and growl, as if desperate for someone to understand his warning. When the ambulance arrived, the police officers made way for the rescuers, and at that moment, the truth was revealed. Inside the coffin was a young man of about 18, pale and visibly shaken. He had been tied up and a gag placed in his mouth. His wide eyes exuded terror. All the residents of Hope Village were shocked and speechless. The discovery was so unbelievable that it took a few moments for reality to sink in. It's a miracle he's alive. How is that possible? Loyal saved this boy's life. That dog is a hero. The commotion took hold of the village, and people hugged each other, cried, and thanked God for the miracle they had witnessed. Rescuers quickly removed the young man from the coffin while police officers tried to calm down the crowd and maintain order. We need to get him out of here. Let's check his vital signs and get him to the hospital, said a nurse. Yes, we have to be careful. He could be traumatized and injured, added the other. With extreme care, they took the boy out and put him on a stretcher. Loyal, seeing that the young man was being helped, finally calmed down. He jumped off Louisa's lap and didn't move from the boy's side. The girl, with tears in her eyes, watched the scene and wondered how it had all happened. She looked at her friend and realized how brave and determined the dog had been. And she shouted, Loyal, you're incredible. You saved that boy's life. We will be eternally grateful for your courage. While the young man was being taken to the hospital, the animal ran after the vehicle and stayed outside the hospital the whole time. The villagers talked among themselves, still trying to understand what had happened. The questions multiplied. Who was that boy? Why was he buried alive? How did Loyal know he was there? It turned out that in another town, hundreds of miles from the village, lived a millionaire called Robert. He owned a large technology company and had built his fortune from nothing. One day, the businessman received an unexpected and sinister offer a deal with a dangerous gang that was active throughout the country. The Mafia wanted Robert to help them steal money from his company, but he vehemently refused and threatened to report them to the police. The faction, furious with the man's attitude, decided to take revenge. They kidnapped his son, Ruin, an 18-year-old boy, and demanded a millionaire ransom. Desperate, the father did everything he could to save his boy, and agreed to pay the amount demanded. 
However, at the time of the exchange, the bandits took the money and fled with ruin, proving that they were serious when they said that he would regret it. The criminals took the boy to the quiet village of Hope, and in an act of extreme cruelty, buried him alive in a grave in the local cemetery. They sent Robert a photo of the coffin as proof of what they had done, and to show that they were not fooling around. Devastated, the businessman felt a mixture of despair, impotence, and anger. He organized search teams and offered a million-dollar reward to anyone who found his son. But clues were scarce, and time was running out. Meanwhile, in Hope Village, Loyal, the dog loved by all the residents, had witnessed all the criminals' actions. He hid among the trees and watched the bandits as they buried Ruin. The only reason he didn't do anything was that he realized that they were dangerous. After they left, the dog approached the grave and even tried to dig it up, but it was no use. So he tried to protect the boy, thinking it was the right thing to do. Finally, after being rescued and waking up in the hospital, Ruin managed to recover enough to give his father's phone number. When Robert received the call that his son was still alive and safe, he couldn't hold back the tears of relief and gratitude. He immediately traveled to the village to meet the boy and personally thank the community and the dog, Loyal, for saving his son's life. When he got there, the businessman was thrilled to see the love and loyalty of the dog that had stayed by the young man's side all that time. So it's you, is it, buddy? You saved my son. He hugged the animal. The father expressed his desire to adopt Loyal and take him home as part of his family. But as they were getting into the car, the dog looked at the people in his village, whom he loved so much, and preferred to stay there. If he could speak, although he was grateful, he didn't want to leave his beloved villagers. He knew he belonged there, where he had grown up and been welcomed by everyone. Even so, deeply touched by Loyal's courage and by the kindness and solidarity of the villagers, Robert decided to reward them. He donated a large sum of money to the village and invested in building a modern community center with a library space for sports and cultural activities and a new health center. The intention was to improve the quality of life of the residents and provide a brighter future for the children and young people of the community. The millionaire's gesture brought even more unity and joy to Hope Village. People came together, took part in activities, and celebrated life, and the dog Loyal continued to be the great hero and guardian of the village, always receiving affection and admiration from everyone. Robert also became an animal advocate and started investing in organizations that cared for and protected abandoned animals. The experience with the dog had left a permanent mark on his heart. And although life had returned to normal for most of the residents of that small town, they would never forget the day a loyal dog saved a young man's life and changed the fate of an entire community. If you like the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Give us a thumbs up and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss and see you in the next story.